So you're working on a project and are about to finish it, but then you just don't. Or you work on something for a client and are about to hand it over, but then you keep tinkering around. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Anders Frey, but you can simply call me Joe. And for those of you who don't know me, I've been working as a software engineer for more than 15 years and I switched to data science and data engineering about four years ago. And I'm here to share the few little things that I picked up along the way with you. Do you know the feeling when you're just about to finish some important work that you do for somebody else and then right when you're about to finish it, some sort of resistance arises and you try everything to not hand it in. Tinkering on it or just plain ignoring it. Trying to reason with yourself, yeah, I will hand it in tomorrow as the days start to pass. Hmm, been there, done that. You are not alone, but what are the reasons for that? And most importantly, how to overcome this? That are the topics that I would like to share my thoughts on in this video. Hopefully you like it. And if so, remember to go completely insane on that like button. That would be really appreciated. There might be many reasons for that behavior, but in my opinion, the biggest one is the fear of being judged. While you're working on the thing, it's you and it's only you. But then if you hand it in to a client, your professor or launch it officially, then you're open and vulnerable. And I would argue that this feeling gets exponentially stronger in relation to your personal commitment and involvement. When you work as part of a team or something, you might have similar feelings, but I would say that if you are the person directly responsible for the project, or if it's your startup that is about to launch its product, then it becomes a completely different beast. Because now people will tell you whether your work was acceptable, good, or even bad. And I have the feeling that many people struggle being judged in this regards. I have the feeling that people tend to identify themselves with the thing that they are currently working and creating and relate everything positive and negative regarding this thing as negative or positive towards themselves and their self-worth. The point is, everybody has a certain image of himself in his mind and is afraid that this picture does not reflect reality or the perception of other people. And so we are looking for excuses to not put us out there to be judged. Another observation I made is that the longer you work on something, the more pressure is piling up because the more time you are spending working on it, the better the outcome has to be in your head. And also you think that the better the outcome needs to be that your client expects. But be assured you're not alone and there is no need to blame yourself or to think lesser of yourself. I think if we're all honest, then probably everybody watching this video right now will remember at least one situation in which the things I just said apply to them. It's just human nature. Now that we identified one big reason for that behavior, what do we do about it? I would argue that it's a good start to acknowledge that we are susceptible to this and that this is probably the reason why you are not finishing your thing. But I don't want to let you hang in there with that answer, but I would rather like to make you think about it in a slightly different way. What if you present your thing actually before it's ready? If everyone is aware that it's a working draft, then the judgment won't affect you that much because you're not done yet. And that will help not only ease the pressure, but also make it less likely that your thing will suck. Because now we have feedback from your clients. The thing is, the more time you spend on something, the more pressure you feel that it needs to be awesome or perfect. And in the end, the client is not you. So even if you think that it's perfect for you, it might still suck for the client. So the easiest way to overcome this whole situation is to actually to present as early and as much as possible. So the client can give you feedback whether it fits its needs and you will not have the feeling of having worked on something for like two months and then fear that the client won't like it and then try to avoid delivering it. I hope you liked this video and if so, it would be super awesome if you could go completely nuts on that like button and don't forget to leave a comment down below and tell me your experience on finishing things. So far, see you in the next one.